We'd like to send our thoughts and prayers to people living in Tonga. We are seeing satellite images of the Pacific Island nation, which is covered in ash. Look at that. An underwater volcano exploded late last week, sending the ash about 19 miles, you guys. Think about that, into the air. And the explosion sent a huge shockwave across the globe. In fact, I want you to see these satellite images showing just how massive it was. The explosion also triggered tsunami warnings around the Pacific coast and in Asia, and some areas saw large waves and flooding. My hometown of Santa Cruz was completely flooded. I believe I have one of the videos that one of my friends took. So that's in Santa Cruz. All, Santa Cruz flooded. I mean, it's just, first of all, I want to go back to Tonga, but the reason why I'm showing this is to just wrap your head around the fact that all the way the in Tonga, a volcano yeah. affected a little town, I mean, how many miles away? I can't even wrap my head around that. Um, when you saw the whole continent covered in ash, what, what? I, I don't even know what to say. I know. You know, it's like, do they have some protocol because that happens maybe more frequently than it does here in the States? How do you, I mean, the breathing, the water. Right. How, I don't even know how you start recovering from something like that, but it also shows how small this planet is. When something happens so far away, where's Tonga? I've never heard of it. It doesn't matter. It does affect us right. here in the United States. So what we do, what we do around the world is going to affect everybody in some sort of We're way. We're all in it together, Erica, every single one of us. Yes, I mean, absolutely. I don't I don't know what to say about this story other than, you know, my heart goes out. Obviously, that's it's devastating. The last time we had a reference to Tonga, you'll remember a young lady who was trapped there right. um, for over a year because she was locked down in quarantine. Um, and we were just talking about how beautiful um, Tonga is and, you know, the people. And so, of course, like our hearts go out to everyone. Yeah. And the rest Red Cross has a specific fund right now for Tonga, so if you would like to do more than uh, pray and send good thoughts, go to the Red Cross. They are making sure that all of their needs are met, and our thoughts and prayers are with them.